watch this video if you want to learn how to make the most money possible with absolutely zero investment it's called getting into sales but you can't just have any sales job and sell anything so i'm going to tell you exactly the highest paying sales jobs that you should get while you are working on a business and your master plan on how to take over the earth but first Let's take a look at where I live and what sales allowed me to do and how sales allowed me to live my life. This is my theater. I love this place. I usually come here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I bring a bunch of junk food. After all day of intermittent fasting and the dieting and going for walks and working out and going swimming, you come here and throw it all away by eating a bunch of junk food. But I love this place. It's super cool to relax. Now we're going into the lobby and they're getting ready for Christmas. There's a bar over there. There's a lot of uh, events and things that happen here. I think there's going to be some sort of an event here, but this is a nice place to hang out. I'm the piano master. I'm the grand piano master, and I'm about to demonstrate my talents. All right, ready? That's first one. Second one. I told you I'm the grandmaster piano player. This is um, the library. This is typically where I hang out. Watch TV, do your work and stuff. Super relaxing place. You put on CNN, vote for nobody. This is where I give my speeches. People listen, they sit down, I speak, and they listen very carefully. If they're poor, they listen, if they're not, This is a little deck, a little patio. You can hang out. You can pregame before you go out. You can chill, you can do your work. You can be on the laptop. Oh, emails. This is a fountain, which is broken at the moment, but there's a nice little canal. There's a lot of uh, construction here at the moment. Ruining my view that I worked very hard for in my life. Ruining everything, but it's still very nice. So, I love to hang out here as well. This is the little valet area where you can pull up your car and they uh, take your car, valet it. And all of your friends for free. It's very nice. This is the next YouTube star. All right. Hello. It's very Christmassy. One of the most important things I learned in life was that there's no overnight success. As much as I like it, right? Like, I'm a human being. I would love to get rich overnight. I would love, I would love to do that. It didn't work out as planned because it never happened. And I realized, basically, if I continue doing what I'm doing, there's absolutely no way in hell I'm ever going to have a nice life, right? Zero chance. So you have to start little by little, doing one thing at a time, lighting one match, right? One match every day. One day you're going to turn around and you're gonna have a forest fire behind you. All hard work pays off. Now, I put in zero hard work into playing pool. So now I'm going to try to knock something in live on camera, if possible. Oh, I'm the master of disaster. The first thing you have to realize, you have to be in sales if you want to make a lot of money with zero. How do you make a bunch of money with zero investment? 
that is called a sales job, right? If you have a job and there's no commission there, that means there's absolutely no possibility that you will ever make a bunch of money. You know exactly what you're getting paid every single day. In our world today, there's plenty of uh, other jobs, of course, other than sales. You have human resources, you have marketing and so on and so on. I'm somebody that never wanted to have one of those jobs where I work less or I work more and I make the same amount of money. To me, that's crazy. I'm trying to get as much money as possible. So in order to do that, you have to have a sales job and you can't just have any sales job. You have to sell something that is expensive, like hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars and so on. I'm personally in software sales, but there's many other things out there that you can do that have a high ticket price, right? And I'm not talking about selling other people's courses, high ticket sales, like Dan Locke made a funny uh, YouTube short about that dude, freaking scam. How do you get into sales? How do you get into sales? Like you have no idea, you have no experience. How do I do that? How do I get a job? The easiest way to get into sales, because to get a job where you're selling very expensive things, you need some experience, right? Like nobody's going to hire you. It's like, all right. Noise, ruining my YouTube video. Nobody's going to hire you to sell super expensive things because those things are typically a process. There's a strategy, you need experience. There's a sales process. But all of that you can learn very quickly. So how do you get started? How do you get a sales job with zero experience? That is called getting a sales job that is commission only. This is the easiest job to get because nobody's paying you a salary, right? My first sales job was not commission only, but I did have one that was commission only. Actually, it was. I was in real estate. I was a real estate agent when I was younger, and I also used to do mortgages. I did it for a very short amount of time and so on, but that's one thing. Different video, different business model. That's like super tough. There's way, way better ways to make a lot of money. Realtors like 1% make like a bunch of money. To get into sales, that's a commission only job. How do you get a commission only job, right? You will have to write something about your education, right? I have zero experience, but like I went to college and that makes you sound good. But if you have any sort of other experience, it really doesn't matter. Like I got my commission only job because I did have one outside of real estate and outside of mortgages, I did have a job and I got into that just because like they liked me. I didn't have any crazy sales experience or anything because they're not paying me a salary. They have nothing to lose. So going on LinkedIn, creating a resume that's halfway decent, these commission only sales jobs are not looking for like crazy experience, right? Like for them, it's a win. They can't lose on you. Like companies later in your career, while you're chasing your dreams and while you are working on your businesses, to take over the world, other jobs can lose on you. Excuse me, there's a Porsche that's going to ruin my video audio and this thing that I got. People that hire you and pay you like a bigger salary, they have something to lose and that is the money that they're paying you. A commission only job, they have nothing to lose. It's a win-win, right? The only thing they really have to decide when hiring you for a commission only job is whether or not they want to spend time with you because you are going to need to learn the product, you know, the sales process, whatever they're selling and so on. You're going to need some hand holding, which is just, it's like the same thing as getting hired as a waiter, right? Like you have training, you follow another waiter around, like you're a bartender. These are our specialty drinks and so on, but they have very, very minimal risk. So to find a sales job, to find a sales job that is commission only how do you do that you go on linkedin you go on linkedin and then you look for open jobs there's a simple filter on linkedin where you can search for jobs you can put entry only you can put remote you want to work from home and then just see what pops up right there's hundreds of jobs that are available and then start interviewing right i'm ambitious i'm smart i want to learn i love sales i want to you know work with people it's challenging and so on. That is the best way to get into sales with the commission only job, LinkedIn. Just be nice, be ambitious, show them that you have fire, tell them that you're excited and so on and so on. You can definitely you know, find videos on YouTube. I'll probably make a video on that as well. 
and just like what they say in interviews, right? It's not just like throw up, throw up. What, what, what is it again? It's been a while. It's uh, show up and throw up, right? You show up and throw up. Like, hey, my name is John. I'm so good. I'm ambitious. I, this is, I went to school. I took these classes and this and that. I had a real estate license, blah, blah, blah. I hope to God you heard something that you like. That's called show up and throw up, right? Throwing spaghetti on the wall and see what sticks. No, you show up to the interview. Hey, what are you guys looking for? You know, hey, we're looking for somebody that's ambitious and so on and so on. Great. You know, I've always wanted to get into sales. I'm a very, very good with people. I really enjoy talking to people and I enjoy helping people because whenever I sell something to somebody, I'm actually helping them. Like people buy stuff because you help them, right? People buy healthier food and those companies actually helping them not get fatter. People just don't look at it that way. When you come to interviews, you should definitely learn, you know, how to, um, you know, speak not to be somebody that shows up and throws up and hopes that somebody hears it. So what types of sales jobs, sales jobs, what types of products could you look for? There's really so many things. There's really so many things that it's hard for me to uh, tell you, but just start talking to people, start talking to people. You can get a commission only sales job. Once you do that, you're starting to develop some experience. So you can take a year of experience working somewhere, two years, let's just say one year, even with one year's experience, you can automatically go and now get a job that pays a salary. You don't have to lie, but people don't ask, like nobody has ever asked me, hey, at your previous position, was it commission only? No. They think and they expect that you had a salary. So you don't even talk about that, right? Like, hey, what salary do you want? I'm open to that discussion. They should always make the first offer. But now you have a year of experience under your belt. You can make it six months. You can lie that you worked for a year. I don't give a shit. I'm not you. You do whatever you want. You can lie and say, oh, I worked there for a year. That is I knew, but once you have some skills in sales, now you have things to talk about because they will ask you, hey, you know, can you give me an example of where you had a very tough competitor and why you won the deal? Okay, I started working with some other team members. I started working with customer success to make them feel comfortable moving forward with our product, with our solution and so on. So now you have like stories of some sales that you made <clears throat> at your previous job, which will let them know if you're a good fit for this position or not. But the main thing is, is that now after a year, you can immediately start looking for jobs that pay a salary and commission. So that's how you crack. I mean, when I did commission only my first year, I made over a hundred K that was a very long time ago, but I was just pounding the phones, you know, the typical wall street wolf, crap just cold calling all that stuff so that's what i did right but you can now have stories now you can look for a job that pays a salary and that has commission so there are many like that i would so just off the top of off the top of my head and just a couple of facts like the highest paying sales jobs not looking at not looking at the top one percent of people that sell like private jets and you know construction sites and hotels and yachts and stuff just like regular sales jobs that uh pay the most out there in the industry are number one pharmaceutical sales uh software sales and there's also commodity sales so that's like selling like every, everything from like plastic forks napkins whatever like co commodities right something that price only matters that's what a commodity is like a t-shirt a plain t-shirt is a commodity right so there's definitely a uh, you know quality when it comes to t-shirts and things like that but commodities are just things that only only price matters so you don't want to be a commodity seller unless you're like at a big huge company you have a lot of customers so software sales and medical sales medical device sales medical device sales what is that so that is a place that's a tough job i'll tell you that you're gonna have to follow around an account executive that's what they're called and be like an assistant account executive for a pretty long time which is basically you follow somebody with more experience than you and then you get like crumbs of their commission but after that you move up to be an account executive which is basically you're the main sales guy so medical device sales is basically you work for a company that makes medical devices, like for example, little cameras for surgeries, like stuff that doctors use for surgery. Like that's a medical device, like a camera they put in your body. In medical device sales, these people basically go to these doctors, you go to hospitals and you talk about your product. That's how 
medication, which I call drugs, and they are drugs. That's how drugs work, right? People that are in pharmaceutical sales, not medical device sales, same thing, but they just sell drugs. You will go to hospitals, you will talk to doctors, and you would say like, hey, you wanna try this out on your next surgery and so on, and you know, you talk about it, and then you literally also sit through surgeries with them, and then it's a tough job, but you can land, like, they can say like, hey, the hospital wants $10 million worth of these cameras, and they buy them all the time. Like, they need new technology very frequently, so you can actually land a big, huge commission. There's a girl that I know that got like 350,000 bucks off of one sale. She walked into a hospital, she had those little cameras, they're like little worms they put in your body so they can see when you have an operation, and she landed, like, it was like a $17 million deal, or seven, I forgot. But she made $350,000 in one day. The guy just said, oh, I like these cameras. Can I have seven million? Can I have $7 million worth of it? 350K, boom, that's sales. So medical device sales, I would say it's a more complex road, a more complicated road. Super, super, super stressful, right? So I would not do that job, but there's a lot of money in there. A lot of people that do it are millionaires. Like you can literally be a millionaire, a multi-millionaire with medical device sales. The second thing is, what I do, which is software sales. So what is software sales? You're selling a software, which is like a license. So to give you a very easy example, Facebook is a software. So imagine Facebook wasn't free and I'm selling Facebook. So I will call up like Nike and be like, hey, do you guys wanna use Facebook? This is what you can do in the platform. You can post content, you can have followers, you can run ads, you can do a lot of different marketing for Nike. This is what you can do on this platform that you guys are not doing today. You only have your own website, right? And Facebook has so many users and they can see your ads and everything. So they want it. So I sell them a license. I sell them a license, which is, for example, a 12 month license, let's just say for like $500,000 to use Facebook for 12 months. So that is a software license. Facebook, Nike pays 500k for 12 months and i get let's just say fifty thousand dollars from that as commission that is what i do but the softwares that i sell are different because uh, facebook is not for sale so content management system like for example i sell and have sold <clears throat> it's like a wordpress on steroids without getting into the details like way better than wordpress marketing automation right so i work for a company like oracle where email email marketing, uh, they track what people are doing in their mobile apps, they track what people are buying, they track basically everything their customers are doing and then they market to them. So what does that look like? They go in the platform that I sold them and they say, hey, everybody that has spent over $500 in the last you know six months, we want to send them a promotion to uh, buy our sneakers or something like that. Then they can say, okay, people that bought sneakers in the last month, let's promote some t-shirts, running shoes. So they're runners, they might like t-shirts. So marketing automation software, that's what that's called, what I've sold for most of my career, right? So everything that you see when you go on websites, ads pop up, you get emails and things like that. And my clients have been everybody from, you know, Airbnb, Lego, Nike, uh, big banks, JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Capital One, Holiday Inn. Like throughout my career, I've worked with everybody. So many, so many different companies. There's not a single, there is a few, but there's not many companies that are big enterprise companies, multi-billion dollar companies that I haven't talked to sooner or later in my life. When it comes to software, the good thing, the exciting thing for you is to be able to get a job there, there are many positions. You can start off as somebody that's called a business development rep, a BDR, or an SDR, that's a sales development rep. So what do these people do, these positions? They basically set up appointments for people like me. Right, so that's how you can start. Even if you had a sales job, jumping into like software sales, you can get the job depending on your experience and depending on how smart you are. So you can get the job with very, very minimal experience, but a lot of people start as a BDR. So you can have like a little commission only sales job. Once again, don't say you never got a salary. It sounds shitty, but you know, you can have a sales jobs like that. And then you can jump into being a sales development rep, somebody that sets up appointments 
And then you move into a sales position, which is an account executive. There's different levels of account executives, but it doesn't matter. Every company is different and so on. You can set up appointments. You can get hired at a software company. The good news is when, why I'm telling you this, like this is a job. There will, there will always be jobs in the software industry. Like when you mention software to somebody today, like for some reason, they still think of like, you know, I'm going to upload something, install something like a hard drive, desktop, like you're gonna come over with a box and install something. No, a software, you're selling a username and password to basically like an email marketing software, a username and password to social media platform where people can post everywhere at the same time and stuff like that, right? That's what a software is. You're literally selling a username and password. It gets a little more complex than that because you have to show the value of that software. There's different people, they're called stakeholders. There's different departments uh, within companies. They all need to agree. If you're selling to small businesses, it's typically just one person or two. You know, it's the owner, depending on how big the company is. So the good thing about software is like Silicon Valley, startup, TikTok is a software, right? Bitcoin is a software. There's endless softwares coming out every single day. There's hundreds and thousands of them everywhere. So when somebody creates a software and wants to become the next Mark Zuckernerd, Zuckernerd, they create a software and then they get investments from investors, right? From venture capital and things like that. Why? Because they need to grow that software business. So for example, me and you say today, hey, let's start an email marketing uh, company. We have a software that can send out emails and make them personalized and blah, 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 whatever crap. What now? Now we need salespeople. Okay, we don't have money to pay them. Okay, now we go get investment. That's why people get investment, to grow companies, to make the product better, and to hire people. So when they want to hire people, that's when I come in, right? Somebody that has done this for like 20 years, on the side of having many, 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 many businesses in my life. So that's where I come in and that's where you come in. That's why there's so many positions because everything on this planet is a software. Your phone, right? Your computer, software. Yeah, it's hardware, you're on your computer, but inside it's software. The great reason or the big reason why you should, if you want to go this route in your life on the side of having many businesses and becoming filthy rich, taking over the world, software is a tough job, but you can make tons of money. Like I've made millions of dollars selling, right? So like when, when, when people, like once you start doing stuff in life and then you talk to people who are not doing anything, like, oh yeah, you can get rich with zero money, sure. Yeah, you can. It's called sales. How much does it cost you to get a sales job? Zero, right? People are just like lost, man. They're just lost. I have, I have no freaking clue. I mean, they live under a rock, right? You get a sales job, you make a bunch of money, you use that money to start businesses, you still create content on social media. You can do everything you want in life, right? But this is just a great way to get started, obviously, with zero money and that's called getting a sales job so i definitely recommend this i'm open to any questions selling the product being good at sales is something that you're going to get over time throughout the years it doesn't happen overnight but uh that's something you can pick up on like i did it i got hired with zero experience and then you get experience that's what just happens as you get older software sales and getting into sales that's how you do it start commission only Look for those jobs on LinkedIn. Once you get some experience, look for better jobs. Start at somebody that just uh, sets up appointments for a sales rep that has more experience and then just get into it and always, always, always look for those software products or any products that have very, very high ticket prices, all right? Subscribe, see you guys in the next video.